Welcome to the grand finale of the Bob Marshall Wilderness Adventure. Today, I'm wrapping up this incredible journey with a traverse over the White River Pass, discovering a hidden gem at a ranger station, and finally reaching my destination at Benchmark Trailhead. I'm not sure. I came from this north side of the White River. I'm not sure if that sign's telling me to turn on this right V and go up that pass, I think, or continue on this one and follow the White River a little more. I need trail number 138. So this is the Mills family camp. They're from Augusta. Hi guys, today is Sunday and so I've been in Bob Marshall for a week and a couple days now. I'm loving it. I'm right at the intersection of the White River Pass Trail and Haystack Mountain Trail. Gorgeous views right here. Um, a lot of trees blocking the view. But I'll have to have a look. Maybe we want to get up to that lookout here. travel on here. It zigzags a couple of times across that face of the mountain, the west face, and then I'll be up over the saddle and on the east side of the Continental Divide. I'm hoping I can videotape myself going over because my phone is down to 15% battery and my charger broke and so once I'm over the pass That'll be all downhill to benchmark a trailhead and it'll probably take me a day, maybe a little bit more to get there, but I won't have any footage of that, but it's all downhill and similar to the train that I would have crossed earlier. So let's go. My trek across the White River Pass was nothing short of spectacular. The scenery was breathtaking and the challenge was worth every step.
Actually, they could camp here. There's some snow on the east side. are showing up on that mountain but it looks really cool with all the different colored greens and brown hues in lines on that mountain pretty cool here's my dinner I got the roasted garlic mashed potatoes and I mixed it with some fresh dill that I found on the mountain I'm gonna have lemon pepper tuna and a wrap with it and the mashed potatoes were made with fresh spring water can't eat that. Near the end of the day's journey, I stumbled upon another ranger station, the Indian Point Ranger Station, and what a surprise awaited me there. Here's Ranger Rick at Indian Point Ranger Hello. Station. Hello. In fact, hold that thought because there's something called trail magic. Okay. That's an integral part of the CDT experience. Sweet. So stand by okay. for a little trail magic. Trail magic. <laughs> Tootsie rolls. <laughs> Sweet. Trail magic. Right here from Ranger Rick. Yes, that's my brand, Tootsie Rolls. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Ranger Rick. <laughs> of course. <laughs> my adventure concluded at Benchmark Trailhead, a perfect spot to reflect on the miles I covered and the beauty I've encountered. But the story doesn't end there. On the morning of my final day, imagine my surprise when I unzipped my tent and saw 40 feet to my right a two-year-old grizzly bear standing, grazing at the campsite. It was an incredible wildlife encounter. Thankfully, the bear left peacefully, sauntered into the bush after I said hello to it. Moments like this remind me of the wild, untamed spirit of nature. Yeah, and after my trek, I found one last hurdle to conquer. Before I was able to go home, I had to face a challenge getting back to my Jeep, which was over 50 miles away at my guide's house. A huge shout out to the wonderful folks at Sun Canyon Lodge who came to my rescue and gave me a lift. And with that, my Bob Marshall Wilderness series comes to a close. I hope you've enjoyed this journey as much as I have. Thanks for joining me, and please subscribe for more adventures in the wilderness. Until then, happy trekking.